of Temecula Valley is an event that's been held every year since 2011 in Temecula. It was all started by the Temecula Education Foundation, an organization that helps raise funds for schools to enhance educational opportunities in the arts and sciences. Why is there a need for a nonprofit like TEF to raise money for arts and sciences in education? Basically, it was designed because of the budget cuts. Uh, the state of California has been experiencing some serious budget cuts in education. And uh, we thought that uh, an opportunity to offset some of those cuts, especially arts, science, music, would make a difference. What is Taste of Temecula Valley and what inspired Temecula Education Foundation to create it? It really is an, an event that happened way back in the late 80s and it was called Taste of Temecula. And they gathered wineries and some restaurants together and they raised funds to help build up the supplies and things that needed to be in the Ronald Reagan Sports Park in the CRC. How has Taste of Temecula positively impacted Temecula education? The number one thing is it raises money. It's our biggest fundraiser of the year. We raise the money that goes back to the teachers in the form of grants. Taste of Temecula Valley is always held in Old Town in front of City Hall. The first event featured about 20 vendors consisting of one winery, one brewer, and a handful of restaurants. One of those vendors was Nothing Bunt Cakes, who participated in Taste of Temecula since the beginning. So what were some of your first thoughts when you heard about the event? Um, the first year I did run out because I could not believe the volume of people that did attend this event. But uh, once I did that first year, I was ready for the second, third, fourth, and fifth. And actually the last two years, I was the number one vendor to raise the most money, outdoing even Pachanga casinos. It's been eight years since the first Taste of Temecula event, and it sure has grown. Last year, 60 vendors participated and about 1,500 people came out on the first night alone. Attendance swelled to 4,000 people the following day. Why does Taste of Temecula Valley continue to be such a popular event? I, th I think it's because of the variety. It brings the whole community together. We have teachers, we have students, we have you know the entire community invited to, to attend. We have people coming from Orange County, San Diego. Uh, we've had people come as far as Texas to, to attend our event. One of the big things about our event is the Friday evening. Friday evening is a VIP dinner. At the VIP dinner, we have 14 chefs from Pachanga come out and do our event and cater the entire thing. It is the only event where Pachanga comes off property to do an event. What can people expect this year? Amazing restaurants. We've got the best assortment that I think we've had in years and, and I mean best assortment by variety. Um, we have different unique foods that uh, they can't find everywhere else. Yes, yeah, some of them are restaurants here locally, but then some are caterers. In fact, one of our most unique is uh, Hajigana's Cuisine. The food is from West Africa. The flavors are amazing. There's a lot to look forward to with Taste of Temecula, but we can't forget the end result. Funding for more visual and performing arts and science curriculum in the classroom.